Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. I'm back one of my favorite places, northern Manitoba. I'm close to the highway right now, so you'll probably hear some highway noise right now as the vehicle goes by, but that's all good because pretty soon I'll be out on the lake and it's going to be nice and quiet. I've got a flat, calm day, it looks like. I've only got a couple hours right now. It's actually mid-afternoon, but I'm gonna go on a walleye hunt. Sharp shooting walleye, because it's my favorite thing to do with a jig and a mena, a good old jig and a mena, and probably a hyper hammer or a hyper rattle, something like that. Let's get her done. Love it. Oh, what a life. What a day right now, too. What a day. I've never traveled this route before, so I'm watching my depth finder a little bit. But what I'm more so, I'm looking for light colored water. Any brown spots, anything like that. I'm glancing at my depth finder once in a while just to keep an eye on things. But I'm backed off to about three quarter throttle so I can lay off really quick and hopefully not hit anything too hard. You have to be so careful in the north. So careful. Oh, mark right here. Drop down. Starting with the hyper hammer, but with the bean glass calm right now, it's a good chance I'll switch to a jig and a minnow here pretty quick. Just sharp shoot with a big motor. See if we can maybe pick off a suspended fish here. Look at that. Followed it all the way down. It's gonna be a walleye. I know the, these fish will suspend out in this lake out here. Those are gonna be like a Cisco or something. Look at. Maybe we'll take them right to the bottom. Sometimes they'll follow it all the way down, right? Like a lake trout would. We'll snap it on the bottom. Let's see if he has a tension right there. He definitely followed it all the way down. Got him. <laughs> I got that mark to come down from being suspended all the way to the bottom. Some lakes, walleyes will suspend off their structure, especially in the northern, the northern lakes. That's a perfect little eater there. I'm not taking fish home today, but wow. Okay, suspended walleye. I took him down to the bottom and got him to eat. Hyper hammer for the win. See ya. That's a fun little start. A lot of times these walleye will suspend, especially when it gets glass calm, they'll suspend off of the structure. So it's, it's like 12 feet beside me here, like not too far at all. So they'll literally match that like 12 foot depth and they'll just slide out into the deeper water there. Granted, it's only like 25, 26 feet where I took them to, but they suspended. It was, it was a completely suspended mark, like hands down. Didn't eat it up high, but as soon as I took it to the bottom, it ate it. It's still 15 feet away from it. There's two of them there now. Just trying to get his attention before I bump it over. There's two of them. 24 feet of water. Kind of drifting towards them a little bit, it looks like here. Or they could be swimming towards me slow. Here we go, come on. I feel like it being fairly calm out here, I might, oh, that mark, right down to it. I might need the jig in the middle here at some point. I'm thinking, oh, he's chasing it around. He bumped it. Now the other one's engaging too. Now I'm gonna catch one of these fish right away. Look at him chase it all the way up. Isn't that insane how fast they are? That's that's telling me it's probably a little bit smaller fish with how quick he was, but that is insane. He's trying to grab it when it's in the air. Look at that. He's trying to eat, eat it as it's, as it's like falling or going up. They're so quick. Don't, don't uh, ever assume that walleye are a slow moving fish. When they want to eat something, they're quick. They'll eat it, they'll pounce on it. You can see how these snap jigs like this, you don't feel 
feel them until you go to pop it again because you pop it up they could eat it anytime now between when it falls and you won't feel them i think he's gone that was really cool to watch him shoot up and back down that was, that was a little bit smaller one i'd say so it's probably why he didn't eat if i had a smaller size on i likely would have got bit but at least the couple fish i've seen so far seem to be aggressive it's a good sign there goes suspended fish right there It ate it. <laughs> okay, live imaging for suspended fish is really amazing. Even though it's a Cisco, that was still pretty cool. Okay, so the Cisco's bite hyperhammers here. Wow. A couple suspended marks right here. Oh, yeah. That one followed it all the way down. Oh, I spooked it. Oh, but it's coming back, though. It's coming back. Come on. It's definitely interested. Come on. I still feel like he's smaller. Ah, I might have just stung him. Might have just stung him. There we go. Okay. Maybe I didn't sting him. Small. Question is, Cisco or walleye? My instincts say walleye? The two of them together there? Yes, they were. Smaller walleye, but we're... We're on some fish, nothing crazy yet. Walleye, do you even walleye? I like to walleye. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it just rattled it right there. I wasn't on the screen when I caught it, but I did see the fish. And what is it? It's a walleye. Man, those walleye are suspending high. That's crazy. It's one thing it's really hard to do with regular sonar versus live sonar is target suspended fish like that. In this style anyway, obviously you could troll for them and whatnot for suspended fish, but really, really hard to target them sharpshooting. Another suspended marker right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. I feel like a jig and a minnow would be better for the suspended fish. Because this bait's meant to kind of pound into the bottom. It's working, obviously. But I still feel like if I threw on a jig and a minnow, it might even be better. Oh, what was that? Suspended fish. Oh, one right here, too. Two of them, two of them. There was some behind me, I think, too. These walleye are literally suspending at like 10 feet here. There comes another one, there's three of them right now. Well, that might be the biggest one. Come on. Look at them all. I wonder if these are walleye or ciscos. The thinking walleye? Ciscos are a little bit more darty usually. And it looks like a walleye too on the, let's see if I drop it all the way down to the bottom, see if any fish follow it down. I think I need to get the jig and the minnow out here. Look at the suspended fish. This is insane. I'll probably have better luck getting these fish to eat off the bottom, I'm sure. With this style of bait anyway. There we go, I got one of them to eat finally. Right off the bottom. Feels a little bit better maybe too. There were some nicer fish mixed in there. 
This one doesn't feel bad at all. Man, those suspended fish. Live imaging is so cool for these suspended ones. Easy, even though I didn't get this one to eat up high, taking it down low worked. And they're suspending up in like 10 feet of water. Just a, just a medium, medium walleye. Medium walleye. You'd be a, normally be a netter, but I'm just gonna see if I can grab you here and pull you in. Well, I'm not sure if there were bigger fish in that pot. I feel like there are, it's about a 19, 20 incher, something like that. So I'm gonna try to get back on that pod and drop on them again, but I almost I'm gonna pull out a jig and a minnow soon. I need a towel too. Oh, look at this. I was best put the reel up. The suspended mark just charged right in. Bumped it. Smaller fish, acting more like a Cisco, I'd say. Yeah. Very Cisco like and smaller. There we go. I bet you it's gonna be a Cisco. Yep. Definitely a Cisco. <laughs> he is freaking out. Big Cisco's I mean big fish in the lake too. Oh, on the bottom now. Looks like a nice for fish on the bottom. Oh, it chased them down. There we go. Wow. Oh, is there two down there? I don't know. Can't tell. The mark that was on the bottom definitely looked better. Oh, this could be it right here. This is definitely what I marked. Just a slimy jack pike. That makes sense too. Okay, no more messing around. Suspended walleye, jig and minute time, baby. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Suspended like five feet below the boat only. Okay. Okay, got to his level. Nice, unreal. Just below the boat, like five feet. Look at that. <laughs> unreal. Can't believe they suspend that high. Like they're just below the surface. The old jig in the minute paid off. I guess one of the day too. Again, maybe netting you should be the better option, but that's okay. We'll just grab you. We'll just grab you. If you get off, you get off. So I've seen walleye suspend, but I don't know if I've ever seen them suspend that close to the surface. See ya. So cool. I kind of figured that the jig in the middle would be a little bit better option for the suspended fish. Especially the way they've been like that. That school of five I had swimming around were just so slow in and out, right? Like, of course, some were gonna get aggressive and they're gonna chase that hyper hammer all the way to the bottom and eat it. If it was windier, I think it might be a better option too. But right now, when, it's, when it gets glass like this, they just kind of cruise around real slow. It's funny what the, what the, the wind and the weather can kind of do to dictate what your bite's going to be. Change locations and now I'm starting to mark more on the bottom in this spot. So I might go back to the hyper hammer again. It just goes to show you, you can never go out with like one thing in mind. That's how you're gonna catch fish that day. You have to adapt to what's going on. As much as I'd love to go out and make a video on a certain lure or a certain bait or anything like that, it's not easy. Oh, a couple of fish right here off that rock. Got a bad glare. Very bad glare all of a sudden. Right here. Oh, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Come on. Fall, 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 fall. A little bit nicer fish, I think. There goes my jig. I think he's falling it down, too. One of them is, anyway. There's a bunch of fish here, I think. I got my jig kind of underneath the boat right now. So I'm not really on the... Oh, we just... Ha oh, he just tapped it, but he didn't hold on. There we go, that time he did. I'm glad I didn't set the hook the first time because he just kind of tapped it lightly. Murphy's Law, right? Go to a new spot and all of a sudden the fish aren't really suspending here anymore. Ooh, what do we got here? This one was closer to the bottom off of these rocks here in 24 feet of water, but it's a nice walleye. Wow, holy. 
Okay, what do I got here? Definitely the biggest of the day, okay? Pretty loose drag on him. This one, a big head shakes. I feel like he's gonna be a netter. We're gonna turn the engine off here so we can enjoy this. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one feels good. I saw him on the Mega Live, but when I dropped down, I had a little bit of momentum going, so I never really got it. Oh, it's a pike. Come on, are you kidding me? All that excitement for a little pike. Oh, I really thought it was going to be a big walleye. <laughs> but you are just a pike. Darn it. Darn it. Don't break me off, my friend. Really thought you were going to be a big walleye. It's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. Well, a nice little incidental catch. Like I said, when you're pike fishing, I want to catch you. But when I'm walleye fishing, I don't want to catch you. Oh, come on. You're not that bad. Come on. You're being, yeah, you're being a little bit. What's the word I'm looking for? He was trying to sucker me in to soak me. Dramatic. He's being a little bit dramatic. That's the word I was looking for. For the last hour of the day, I think I'm going back to the hyper hammer. I'm going to try to make him eat. I'm going to keep the jig in the middle ready. But we're going to try to force him to eat right now. Got Mark, look at it. Chase it all the way down. Instead of stopping it this time, I just went with it and I ate it. Okay. I think maybe the hyper hammer is the play. It's not very big, but it's a walleye. Oh, it's gone. That's okay. There's another one there too. So that one, I noticed the mark start to chase it down. So I just let it follow it all the way down and ate it off the bottom. It was just a little guy, but it gives me some hope though. Anyway, I'm kind of jumping back and forth. Oh, that camera's the worst sun angle. The worst. Oh, here's that mark up higher. But jumping back and forth between the uh, hyper hammer and the jig and the minnow. So I'm not sure what the best this best bait is for right now. I feel like the jig and the minnow should be better, but at the same time, they're not. They don't seem to be eating it really. So we'll see here. I got hyper hammer. There's a bunch of suspended fish. I think I'm, okay, since there's a bunch here like this, look at this, they're everywhere right now. I'm gonna pull up the jig in the middle. They're everywhere, I found a pot of them. Found a pot of them, right on, right over this rock right now. Look at this, loaded. I like this. I feel like I should maybe, oh, 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 the fish took a swipe out. I feel like I should maybe pull the trolling motor out and spot lock right here. Because I'm sure my motor is... Oh, oh, I just tapped it. Tapped it. Come on. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? How did I not catch any of those fish? I take a run at it and not eat it? Are you kidding me? Oh, it bumped it. You think with that many fish, they'd cause some competition between each other they're bump they're just like hardly hardly t touching it they cause some competition competition between each other oh i had the back of the minnow okay well we're on them right now we're definitely on a bunch of fish <laughs> that while i ate it as it was coming up that's crazy you're acting like a lake trout well these ones are a little bit smaller i think i need to i think i need to look for some Bigger ones. He is spitting up minnows though. See ya. Oh, come on. Here comes one over here maybe. Some wind pick up, and I've had some fish relating to the bottom again. 
I still got these suspended fish as you can see. I'm gonna spot walk right here because there's definitely fish all over here. But switching back between the hyper hammer and the jig in the minnow, nothing's been crazy. I've I've debated not even putting this video out, but I think just because it's so cool with the suspended walleye, I think I'm going to, even though I haven't really caught much. Like I've hardly caught anything, but that's fishing, right? Like I don't slam them every time I go out. Nobody does. Caught a couple eater sized walleyes. It's a small pike, a decent pike. It's been a struggle bus, but I know if I could have maybe got out here a bit earlier, I probably could have dialed in that suspended bite a bit more, I think. I don't know. Obviously, like I've said in the past, walleye can get a little bit tougher when it gets glass calm. We're going to fish here a little bit longer yet. I do want to talk about the jig that I'm using. It's probably my favorite jig for the jig and the minnow. Show you how I hook a minnow. And yeah. We still got time. Reel it up slow. Jeez, that's slow reel. That's twice today where I've just dropped it all the way down and reeled it up slow. Maybe I'm on to something here for the end of the night. Maybe I'm on to something here for the end of the night. Yes, I do like to repeat myself sometimes. Sure been nothing crazy. An eater walleye. This is like the perfect lighting for a big bomber right now. Okay, dropping it down. Following it down a little bit. Okay, now just a slow reel. Let's go right past and see what happens. Look at this. Look at this. There's another one coming down to it too, and they're biting it. I'm on to something finally. I, I, yeah, nothing like getting finally figuring something out with like 10 minutes left in the day. Man, easy. Okay, let's try that again. So I'm using a quarter ounce Kalen's Google Eye jig. I like these long shank jigs for these dead minnows. I take my minnow like this, I put it through the eye sideways here. I can't see the camera. All the way down to this little uh, hook or bait keeper there, pass that, turn it, and I come through the side like that. Make sure you take off any scales off the hook. Make sure your knot's good or not level or sometimes even behind a bit. And that's it. That's the way that I like to rig up a jig in a minna. And the jig in a minna works pretty good for me. Totally different technique. Okay. Still two down there. I'm gonna drop right past them hopefully here. <laughs> oh, it, it could be time of night too, right? Like, well, I do like to bite near the end of the night all the time. But at the same time, I haven't figured anything out all day. Okay. And buy those fish. Gonna reel slow. Oh, here comes another one. Okay. Real slow. Real slow. Real slow. Oh, <laughs> that's been the that's been the ticket. Crazy. Oh, I wish you could say you're big, but I don't think you are. Don't think you are. Maybe one of the bigger ones of the day, though. Maybe. Ah, it's it's decent. It's decent. You, my friend, would be another good eater. I've caught a lot of good eaters today. Oh, you're chunky, though. You are chunky. Whew. Barbless hook slides right out. Uh, maybe this one would be a little bit too fat to eat. It's a nice one. Chunky monkey. I don't think I've ever caught them this way. Like this suspended this style of like a slow retrieve away from them, like tight, like just hardly crawling it. You know, in the winter, rattle baits and stuff like that, you'll kind of raise it away from them. Maybe a rattle bait right now would do really good, actually. With that last fish, I will wrap up this video. Again, no big walleyes for Clayton. It's like three walleye videos I put out in a row and I've got no big walleye. I will catch some big walleye yet this year, I promise. But thank you so much for watching and don't forget, get outside.